Hello friends, in this particular video, we are going to discuss about live excels and its types. So initially, we are trying to understand about what exactly is a live excel. Later on, we will see the different classification and individually their construction and working. <music> So let's begin with our topic which is our live excel. So right now we need to understand what exactly this live excel is. First of all, see it is a very important part in the automobile transmission system. Here what happens is the entire weight of the assembly is situated in such a way that it needs to be distributed. So when it is getting distributed live excel plays a very important role. So let's see what it is. So let's see what exactly this live excel is. As already mentioned, it supports 50% to 80% of the vehicle weight along with the driving the rear wheels. Okay. When I say that it takes the weight and along with it, it also helps in driving the vehicle. So you can understand that its application and here it plays a very important role. Later on, also a housing encloses it thereby protecting it from dust, damage and water. See, you need to understand what exactly in housing is and what is its function. So, first of all, it is like a cover. So, whenever I say that it is enclosed in a housing, I mean to say that we are trying to protect it and by closing it, we can protect it from dust, from damage as well as from water. So, here, as you can see in this particular diagram this is the actual visualization of how a live axle is so here we can see that a cut section in which the entire assembly has been shown so also its function we have already seen this is the actual view of the live axle now let's proceed and try to understand about the different types of live axles these are the three important types of live axles. The first one is semi-floating axle, then the full floating axle and the three-quarter floating axle. So step by step, we will try to understand the different types of live axles. Let's proceed with the first one. So the first important type of live axle is the semi-floating axle. So when I say that it is semi-floating axle, so it has been given the name because of its construction so it is the simplest and the cheapest type of axle see out of the three that already we have mentioned you need to understand that this one is the most simplest and it is the cheapest then the bearings are installed in between the axle housing and the axle shaft you know what is the function of a bearing whenever there are bearings it helps us in rotating in such a way that the actual components doesn't get damaged so here the bearings are installed in between the axle housing and the shaft. Also this type of live axle which is the semi floating axle it is widely used in cars. So let's see its actual construction. Here we can see that this is the semi floating axle. Let us try to understand its construction and then we will try to understand individually what is the function of each and every component. So as you can see it consists of a wheel hub. Then there is an axle casing. Similarly this is our axle shaft. See the shaft and the casing. The positioning is such that the entire assembly we are trying to cover up. Okay, You know what is the function of a casing already we have mentioned then there are some bearings see I will highlight this these are the roller bearings okay the function of bearings we have seen that it tries to protect the rotating part so here this is the entire assembly it is mounted in such a way that here the axle casing is enclosed and the semi floating arrangement is provided so this is one type of the live axle. Let's see the second one. Second type of live axle is the full flow axle. In this type of axle, the two taper roller bearings are used. See, previously we have seen that there were roller bearings. But in this particular arrangement, we are trying to adopt 
a different technique that is by using the taper roller bearings. The axle only transmits the driving torque. See, previously we have seen that it tries to support the weight as well. But here, the axle is transmitting the driving torque. So this is very important to understand. When I say that the driving torque, you need to understand that we have seen the gearbox. What was its function? To change the torque as well as the speed. So this will help us in transmitting the torque. Now, it is expensive and heavier than the other axles. When I say that it is expensive, we are trying to compare this one with the previous one. So we have to understand that even though this is a efficient live axle, yet there are some disadvantages which include expensive and heavier than the other one. Okay, now it's application. See, this is used in trucks and heavy commercial vehicles. You need to understand that because of its availability and suitability, we can use this particular live axle in trucks, also in the other heavy vehicles. So this is its application. Now let's try to understand its construction. So here we have the actual construction of the full floating axle. The different parts which are listed include axle casing. Similarly, bearings. Then there is a flange. This is the bearing lock nuts. And this is our wheel hub. At the center, we have the axial shaft. Now, what happens is, see, in this particular arrangement, if you carefully note, the axial shaft along with the flange is connected. And on that flange, what we have done is, we have tried to enclose the casing. And here, the axial casing, previously it was semi-floating, but here it is full floating. And the bearings are also different. See, as mentioned that there are taper bearings. Previously, there were roller bearings. So this is also one a very important type of axle in which the function remains the same. It will try to transmit the weight. Also, it will assist in the driving of the vehicle. So this is another important type of axle, which is our full floating axle. Now let's see the next one. The next in this category is the three quarter floating axle. So which is our last type of floating axle. It comprises between both of them. It means that whatever advantages that we were getting out of the both, we have tried to comprise it in such a way that we are getting the benefit of both. Also, in terms of performance wise, it will be more robust and reliable type. Let's try to understand its actual construction. Here we can see this is the diagram in which we are having axle casing. This is our axle shaft and this is our wheel hub. Compared to the previous one, this is more simple in construction. Here the different parts are arranged in such a way that it helps us in giving the performance. Likewise, this is our bearings. See what happens is, in this particular arrangement, our axle shaft rotates. So along with it, the entire casing, that is the assembly, has to rotate. And likewise, this is the wheel hub which will help us in connecting the entire assembly together. So what happens is, as the axle shaft rotates, along with it, the entire assembly rotates. And likewise, this is more robust and reliable one. So we have already discussed all the important types of live axles, which include the first one, which was the semi-floating axle. Then we have discussed the full floating axle. And lastly, this is our three-quarter floating axle. We have tried to understand individually what are their advantages and their applications. Similarly, construction-wise, which is the more simplest one, which are used for heavy vehicles. So this particular video will help us in understanding, enhancing about the live axles. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe to Ikeda.